Okay, so now that you understand that there are 12 keys, and in each of these 12 keys, you have seven notes that are spaced the same way. Whether you're in the key of C or the key of E flat, it's all the same spatially. The next thing you need to understand is that in each of these 12 keys, you have these seven notes, and these seven notes can create seven chords. So here's what I mean by that. So say we're in the key of C. Right, it's all white notes, and our notes are C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Those are the seven letters, the seven notes of the key of C. There are no sharps, no flats, just all white notes. So if we take you know, the first note, C here, and we go every other letter, so C, skip the D, E, skip the F, G, that creates a chord. And notice it's a major chord, right? Because we have our major third, which has three in the middle, and our minor third, which has two in the middle. And also sounds happy, so you can kind of tell. Now that's our first chord of the key of C, right? Our, our C major chord, or our one major. Now, if we go to the second scale degree, it's a D, right? So now we can skip every other letter. So D, skip the E, F, skip the G, A. That creates a minor chord, or a D minor chord. So you notice we have a minor third, right? Two in the middle, and a major third, three in the middle. So that is our two minor because it's the second scale degree. Now we can go to the third scale degree. So one, two, three, or C, D, E, right? Now we're here at the E and we do the same thing. So E, skip the F, G, skip the A, B. That creates an E minor chord. And it's our third scale degree, so it's the three minor. Now, fourth scale degree, that's an F. So F, skip the G, A, skip the B, C. Now we go to our fifth scale degree, G, uh, G, skip the A, B, skip the C, D. That's our G major, that's our five, fifth scale degree, our five major. Now we have our A, which is the sixth scale degree, skip the B, C, skip the D, E. That's our six minor. Now we have our seventh scale degree, B, skip the C, D, skip the E, F. And that's an interesting one, right? That's not major or minor, that is, can you tell? It's diminished, because we have our minor third, with two in the middle here, and our other minor third, with two in the middle. So that is a B diminished, or the seventh diminished, seven diminished. And then we're back at our C chord. Right, so we have our one major, two minor, three minor, four major, five major, six minor, seven diminished. And this is gonna be the same for all 12 keys. All 12 keys, they're all gonna have that, those same set of seven chord qualities. The one is always gonna be major, the two is always gonna be minor, the three is always gonna be minor, uh, et cetera, et cetera. All right, but that's, um, those are the diatonic chords. And when I say one major, two minor, three minor, et cetera, in music, these are written out as Roman numerals. So the uppercase Roman numerals are major and the lowercase Roman numerals are minor. And if it's a lowercase Roman numeral with a circle, that means diminished. So as you can see there, the seven there, it's, it's lowercase, but then there's that little circle, so that means seven diminished. Um, so this is how you'll see it in music and how you can communicate it. So now you can, uh, you can kind of apply this to any key, right? You could say, what's the three minor in the key of G? Well, the key of G, this is the G scale. Right? The third scale degree is B, and you play a B minor chord. That's the three minor in G. Right? The, um, the four major in the key of D, right? That's the key of D. The four major in the key of D, it's G, right? Because that's the fourth scale degree, so it's a G major chord. Um, so let's so what you can do with this is uh, these seven chords are what songwriters, especially pop songwriters and what you hear on the radio, uh, a lot of times they'll just work with these seven chords in the key. Um, these chords are called diatonic chords. Dia meaning one and tonic meaning key, so one key. So uh, these seven chords are the diatonic chords. They belong to the key. And so you might hear a song in the key of C, right? And that song might have a chord progression, which is a group of chords, right? And the chord progression might be one major, or in this case, a C major, three minor, or in this case, an E minor, six minor, right? Or in this case, A minor, and then five major, or in this case, G major.
right? So that can be your chord progression. If you're interested in songwriting and writing your own songs, you can take this chord progression and write a song over it. So you can, you know, write lyrics over it, you can write a melody, and you can sort of create a song with a chord progression. If you're interested in writing more songs, there's actually a science to creating chord progressions. There's certain formulas that songwriters use to create chord progressions that really are catchy and sound good to the ear, but also better invoke the emotions of the lyrics. So if you're interested in the science of chord progressions, how to create different chord progressions, I actually already created an hour course and a two and a half hour course on this topic. I'll actually leave discount coupons uh, in the final lecture of this course in the bonus section. So you can check that out if you're interested. Okay, but that's it for this lecture on understanding that in each of these 12 keys, you have seven notes, and with those seven notes, um, you can create seven chords, and those are the seven no chords of the key. Every single key only has those seven chords, um, and those seven chords can be used to create songs um, you can write a song with them by creating different combinations of those chords, okay? Um, but that's it for this lecture. I will see you in the next one.